When you get sick, your immune system responds. And this isn't just in response to colds or viruses. The immune system also responds to brain diseases like dementia. In fact, the majority of genetic risk factors for dementia influence immune responses, suggesting that these cells hold great power over brain health. Unfortunately, in the case of dementia, they seem to be using these powers for evil. We've caught these cells spreading messages of panic across the brain and tearing their neighboring cells apart. And I just want to tell them to stop. But obviously, I can't speak to cells, or at least not yet. It turns out we do know a fair bit about how cells communicate. Their language is encoded in DNA. The DNA is naturally made up of segments called genes, which I equate to words or phrases. When a cell wants to mount an immune response, it reads a specific gene from the DNA code. In the case of dementia, they seem to be reading panic and attack everything. But I want to see if there are words that we can speak to these cells that will help them calm down and restore health in the brain. To do this, I'm using a technology called CRISPR activation that lets me find a specific part of the DNA in the lab and read just that word. Then I can see how the cell responds. Does this make you feel like shouting fire in a burning building? After looking through all of the DNA, I now have a fairly good idea of how to speak to cells. I figured out the words that seem to mean panic, other words that mean restore peace, and I'm even able to form more complex phrases like protect the healthy cells, but keep an eye out for intruders. So it's been very exciting to learn how cells speak about dementia, but now I want to take this back into disease. Right now I'm working on coaching these immune cells in a 3D brain environment to see if just shouting restore peace is able to help these cells stop and reassess the situation. It's the first time this CRISPR activation technology has been used in the 3D brain environment, so we have a lot to learn. I still need to figure out if even if I can get these cells' attention, that will be enough to stop dementia. But for now, I'm excited to contribute how cells speak to, about e dementia to each other in order to better understand how to develop therapies. And I've even been able to find some new definitions of words we thought we already knew. For example, a word that we thought meant divide can actually mean divide and conquer, depending on the circumstances. Understanding this language precisely is going to be key as we begin to develop therapeutics for dementia. But I'm excited to have taken this first step in breaking down this language barrier. Thank you.